Okay, guys, so uh, this is my Shockwave 36. Um, originally, um, it's nitro. Um, you know, there's the engine in there. Um, so, uh, I've run it on well, electrics. Uh, an electric, uh, I have made my own motor mounts, different ones. Um, I just had problems with them, you know, um, sometimes when water get inside the motor, it didn't want to give me my motor back, it just, the screws got stuck really good, um, so, I had that problem like two times, so, just decided to, and the last time I used it, it got water in here and inside because I took it too far I guess and without the hatch on <laughs> um, so it just went back and it, it just put water in, in the radio box battery tray or whatever it is um, so I'm just showing you what I'm doing it to make electric you know it's very simple um, of course, you will need an ESC and a motor, so I'm using the Turbo Jet. Got this one for like 37 bucks on eBay, and I'm using my 2200 Mamba Monster. Um, also got this motor mount. Uh, for like 10 bucks, I guess. You know, you can put the motor mount down, or up, or front to. Uh, front and back and up and down so and in an angle too so it'll come straight with the prop I mean with a flex cable <clears throat> so since I went electric now cuz my the engine that they had on it point thirty two uh, the piston and sleeve got really stuck so right now it's loose so but I lost the call it for the nitro to the flex cable and the manifold so that's around 60 bucks for both it's pretty expensive so I'm gonna be using this for now it's pretty fan you know fun I like speed um, so far what I've done is just put a uh, hot glue in here so I don't have any water coming in same thing with this on the back holes even on the exhaust port so I'm changing everything right now even this because this one's pretty stuck and I just broke it yep I just broke it <laughs> see it was really stuck now it's loose so I'm gonna remove the, all the screws or try to um, so here's should new look um, right now I'm gluing it with the Gorilla Glue I barely read about putting some water so it doesn't expand that much. I read it all late in the box. When I already had it, when I had my motor mounting boat already. Um, I was thinking of p putting, a, buying a motor mount so it doesn't get on the way of this four mounts for the nitro engine in case I want to run it back again actually so guess I'll just stick with electric for a while plus I live I was driving salt water so nitro engines they don't like salt water that much at all actually so I just glued them put a little bit of glue it looks a lot because it expanded um so I'll see how hard it is to get it out actually the whole motor mount um i cut it the motor mount here and here so i can put the, this forward and fit in my flex cable no this is my first time also using marine grease on the flex cable you know i just use regular grease so they say that this one's better prevent water to going from going well going inside the ball from the flex cable so I'm gonna see how fast it goes 
I'm gonna drive it on six cells and four. When I get six cells, I'll drive. I'll go six hours and I'll have two two cells. So yeah, my plastic dip uh, my servo as well, so I don't get water in it. Um, what else? So here it is. You know. I like this well. I have my police light bar on the top. <laughs> you can see there. I like that mode. That mode only. <laughs> I have another police light bar which I want to put on my collar. Um, my G made. So yeah, that's basically it. You know, it's a little bit dirty, as you can see. I tried cleaning the inside a little bit. It's a little bit cleaner. It was way worse than this. Um, so I'm gonna have to do all this again, all this water for water for my ESC. I'm gonna try to get a cooling jacket for this one for my Mamba. Um. So yes, yeah, pretty simple to make your nitro boat electric. If you're tired of running nitro, you can just make your own or buy this on eBay used. I mean new for really cheap. Um it's really affordable. Um you know it's not that complicated like it sounds. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna put all my electronics on the front because a shockwave um, in its way on the front to be able to go faster. Because I tried putting my lipos here and it wouldn't go. It would just go barely, not even getting good water to the prop or through the prop. So I ran this boat before with my Mamba Monster on two five cells uh, 8500 mAh it was amazing it was a little bit heavy you know a little bit the water came about right here a little bit more than halfway body hauled ass you know I have videos on it on YouTube of it running or well, a few short videos I have like six seven um so yeah I'm barely putting grease on the Finish putting grease on the flex cable. Tying pull threader locker right here. We call it. So I'm gonna see where I put my receiver box. Oh man. I hope I still have it. I don't remember good. If not, I would just blast it in my, re uh, my receiver. <laughs> mm. Oh well. I'll see that well hope you enjoy this bad video <laughs> no I don't I'm not great doing videos so see that ESC comes out I also plus the dip right here so I don't get water to there I'm thinking of plastic cutting here again like the whole thing removing the heat shrink and just dip the whole thing from about right here to about right here so the whole thing is plastic dip water resistance and just have this li little tip for the water cooling um you know i want to do that so bad <laughs> just dip in this my servo my receiver i don't know about my lipos never tried it i haven't seen anyone try it so I guess I'll be the first one if I do. But I don't know then. Alright, well thank you for watching this video. Oh, it's my Shockwave 36. I want to buy a boat. 92 inches. Just like this big ass boat. Wanna maybe next year buy the big one. To have fun with this. Still does everything stock you know semi this too <laughs> and the ESC and the receiver I mean a servo <laughs> my bad 
So, 